Now, something you've always got lots to say on is our Wednesday watchdog. Matt's here, of course, and somebody's on Santa's naughty list, aren't they? Oh, yes, they certainly are, Alex. Christmas Day comes but once a year, but even rarer are games console release days. Some gamers have been waiting six years for the latest version of the Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Unfortunately, despite being made promises by some big-name retailers, there are a few people who will have to wait even longer. Every Christmas, there are some presents in such high demand that only the speediest shoppers stand a chance. And this year's no different. If you want to get your hands on the latest Xbox or PlayStation consoles, you're going to have to be quick on the draw. Jonathan Cheatham thought his quick fingers had guaranteed a brand new Xbox Series S for his son Max's Christmas present. He'd pre-ordered one from Curry's PC World back in September and paid for the privilege. So I paid a £5 deposit and then I was supposed to be emailed instructions 28 days before launch to pay for the console in full and I thought that's Christmas sorted. Within hours, every single console allocated to the major UK retailers had been pre-ordered. So Jonathan was a very happy chap, until that is, the email from Currys with instructions about how to settle the balance failed to turn up. I called Currys PC World to ask why haven't I received an email, only to be told, well I'm sorry, it's too late, we can't, you can't pre-order one now. And so I said, I'll just have my five pounds back. No, we can't refund that either. You think your five pounds gets you something and you can't even get that back. Absolutely, it, you, you feel cheated. But most of all, I've had to let my son down at Christmas. Max was heartbroken, really, really disappointed. Max isn't the only one whose promise of a Christmas console has been shattered by Curry's PC World. Hey pre-ordered the PlayStation 5 on Curry's PC World Online and on the 2nd of November they told me I don't get a console and more annoyed that they're keeping my deposit. And just last week, Curry's caused more console chaos. On the day Sony launched its PS5, the store suddenly cancelled some orders and announced it wouldn't have the expected stock after all. Customers were livid. Curry's PC World put that down to a technical glitch, adding that it had to cancel a number of orders due to some customers' bulk buying and that it's working hard to secure more stock. Curry's also said it was very sorry for letting down the small number of customers who'd pre-ordered either console and while the vast majority was successful, it's reviewing the process to improve it in the future. Curry's is adamant that everyone who'd paid a pre-order deposit was sent an email detailing how to pay. However, both Jonathan and Thomas are certain they never received one. And while Curry's maintained the deposit was non-refundable, it has now given them both their fivers back as a gesture of goodwill. But wherever you look, retailers just don't have enough Xboxes or PS5s to meet demand. So, one place consoles are turning up is on auction sites with very hefty markups. The prices here are anywhere between £600 and £900, so double what the RRP is. If you're not prepared to pay these inflated prices, be very careful where else you search, because true to form, scammers have seized the opportunity to make a small fortune. Mark from Hampshire lost 250 quid to a fake website claiming to offer big Black Friday discounts. The whole company turns out to be a complete and utter scam. Um, this has made me feel really, really upset and frustrated. And if you're still intent on getting a console for Christmas, you'll want to avoid any potential pitfalls. I'm meeting with gaming journalist Louise Blaine to tell me how. Make sure that you're on the right website. I absolutely think that you should always look at the retailers you've heard of. Be aware of what the recommended retail price of these consoles is. They will be the set prices. There will be no Black Friday discounts on those. How should I approach trying to get my hands on one of these consoles? Take a look at the big tech websites and the big news sites. So you could look at Tech Radar or Tom's Hardware or Radio Times and check them regularly because they'll constantly be updating when stock arrives. But. If you can't get your hands on a console this Christmas, may I suggest charades? 
Yeah, great advice. OK, just to clear this up, we've got gamers who swear blind they didn't receive that email containing the golden ticket to a new console in time for Christmas. And then we've got Curry's PC World swearing blind that anyone who paid down their £5 got sent an email. Something's got lost in the mix and we would love to understand how so it doesn't happen again. If you've been disappointed in this whole thing, let us know. Use the hashtag... Console me <laughs> and tweet us at BBC. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank that you. is one Very of good. your best hashtags thank yet. You. Oh, there's plenty more where that came from. Are you guys gamey oh, in yeah. any way? Not oh, yeah, at all. It. No. Yeah? No, I love a chair, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get one, can't get one. Not uh, since what? the Commodore 64. Oh, well, that was a classic. That'll age me. ZX81. Uh, how about this? Some people who were expecting their shiny new game boxes did get a delivery from Amazon, but not necessarily the box that they were expecting. For instance, Gordon from Bangor in Northern Ireland ordered a PS5. What turned up? This shiny new box. I reckon it's either for growing seeds or hatching eggs. So in one sense, at least, it's an eggs box. Oh, 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 come on. Thank you. Thank you. I've Very also got a couple good. of other things that one show viewers have received from Amazon instead of their games consoles. Let's call these consolation prizes. Wow. Oh. Keeps coming, keeps coming. Sam from Loughborough was expecting a PS5. <gasps> what did he get, Al? Right. What's in the Very box? Very exciting, we don't know. You don't uh, know. Oh, my goodness. It's a grill. It's a George... It's one of them. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was yeah. the one who was safe there. No yeah, brands there, no so brands close there. there. Good for <laughs> toasted sandwiches. Uh, James from Staffordshire's console didn't turn up either. OK. What well, actually turned up, Ronan? No way. It's Look at a, that. It's a bag cat of cat litter. litter. How good is that? Which you can or play games with if you're really tragic. Amazon have said they're really sorry and they're investigating what happened. They've reached out to every customer who's made them aware of a problem so they can put it right. Anyone else who's had an issue can contact their customer services for help. But what on earth's happening here? Where have the precious boxes gone and who's got them now? If you know something, get in touch. Right. Uh, we have to talk about Black Friday because it's obviously coming up at the end of yes. this week. We're all being bombarded by different deals. Yep. But, you know, is it safe, Matt? Is there a catch? Uh, there's a lot of white noise be. about Black Friday and Black Friday scams are definitely a thing. Don't jump at things you didn't want or need or research in the first place and always pay on a credit card for big items. Here's a question for you guys. Is Black Friday itself something about which we should be suspicious? I can't help but be a bit yeah, suspicious. Yeah, me too. It yeah? seems too good yeah. to be true. OK, well, in that case, it probably is. You're right, guys. A report just out by Witch magazine says that you could find 85% of things on offer as Black Friday bargains cheaper earlier in the year. In fact, 1% of things, you take six months before, six months after, only 1% of things are at their cheapest on Black Friday wow. itself. OK. That is a revelation, that's, that's isn't crazy. it? Yeah, yeah, something to think about. Finally, good news if you if you remember, we were banging on about pay per view football games. How it's a bit of a liberty when people are already paying for subscriptions. Those charges have now been dropped. Merry Christmas, everyone. Stick that in your sack, Santa. Don't forget to get in touch if you need help. Watchdog at bbc.co.uk <laughs> and at BBC Watchdog. On Twitter, thank you. Thank you that much. was one of your best. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Matt. There's a lot um, in there. <laughs> let's